Learning how to soup yourself is one of the most essential life hacks nowadays in our fast-paced, stressful society. Because the way that you are thinking, the way that your chemicals in your body are functioning, your state of mind, determine how you are viewing this world, how you walk through this world, how you experience your day-to-day -day life. Soothing yourself is so powerful because it calms down your nervous system. It helps you to reach higher states of mind, to feel more loved. When you are soothing yourself, your body starts producing oxytocin, the hormone of connection and love. And you don't need other people around you to feel that. You can naturally start producing that within yourself. Now imagine how you would walk through this world if you felt completely loved, if you felt calm, if you feel connected to yourself, to a higher power, to others. You'll be a completely different person. So let me share with you 10 tips on how to start soothing yourself right now. Tip number one for self-soothing, start touching yourself. And by touching yourself, I don't mean in your sexual areas. By touching yourself, I mean start hugging yourself. Start showing yourself compassion through touch. It feels so good to touch yourself to hug yourself in that way. There is something so comforting about it. Touch is essential for our existence. And so, give it to yourself. You don't need to wait for a significant other. You don't need to wait for your family, for your kids to show you love. Show the love to yourself. Give yourself hugs right now. After all, people who hug seem to live longer. So, Go for it. <laughs> Tip number two, breathe deeply. Oftentimes in our stressful world, we tend to forget about the way that we breathe. And we tend to breathe in a very shallow way. And so when you switch your attention to your breath and you start breathing calmly in through your nose and out through your mouth, you automatically start to calm your body down. Tip number three, get into warm water. Whether it means taking a bath, taking a nice warm shower, swimming in the ocean or in a warm lake, there is something so healing about water. After all, we have been in water as babies for nine months. And so water seems so natural to us. We are water in the most part. And so when you are soaking in warm water, you are returning back to yourself. You're calming down your nervous system as if you were lying or swimming in your mother's womb. Tip number four, pay attention to the way how you are talking to yourself what are you saying are you constantly criticizing yourself are you constantly judging yourself are you constantly stressing yourself out through things that might or might not happen are you stressing out about the future or overthinking what has happened in the past then you are being your greatest enemy in the moment. Then you are putting yourself in a flight or fight mode. So take a moment and imagine how you would talk to a little kid. You wouldn't stress them out. You would tell them everything will be fine. You are doing okay. You are so loved. You are amazing. You need to start telling these things to yourself. You need to show yourself some more compassion, some more love. Because that will automatically start soothing you, just like a mother is soothing her own child. Become your own parent, your own provider, 
your own protector, your own soother. Tip number five, move your body. It could mean moving your body in a gentle way. It could mean taking a run. It could mean shaking things out. Because after all, shaking is a way of releasing trauma, of neutralizing your emotional states. Movement is so beneficial because it helps you to change your biochemistry and start moving your thoughts. So if you have been stuck in a thought pattern, move your body. That will automatically help you to start changing the way you think and the way you feel in that moment. Step number six, spend time in nature. We are animals, whether you like it or not. Yes, we think of ourselves as humans, as these more evolved creatures. People often get offended when we say, oh, we are animals, but yes, we are mammals. We were born in nature and we belong to nature. We are a part of nature. And so when you return back to nature, it calms you down, it relaxes you, it makes you feel more whole, more connected. Tip number seven, think of the things that make you special. Remember, confidence is silent. Insecurity is loud. And so when you are thinking about the things that make you special, you are empowering yourself. You are increasing your confidence. And that will also calm you down and make you more confident about the situations that you are facing. Tip number eight, visualize yourself in a serene, beautiful place. Our mind doesn't know the difference between what is reality and what is imagined. This is why visualization has been proven to be so powerful over and over again because you can instantly switch your state of mind into a state of calmness into a state of safety just by imagining that you are in a safe place whether that means walking through a beautiful forest enjoying a beautiful sunset at the beach or simply staying in your own living room if that is a place that makes you feel safe and calm so visualize these beautiful calm places use your visualization as a powerful tool that it is and if you have resources you can even make your home a serene place a sanctuary for your soul mind and body tip number nine listen to calming music Everything around us is frequency, carries a certain frequency. And music is a beautiful expression of that. Music carries a certain frequency. You can notice that when you're listening to different songs. If it's a very aggressive song, you might become angry. If it's a sad song, you automatically might become sad. And so this is the power of music, the power of frequency. And so, listen to music that is calming, because that will automatically soothe you. Ideally, you can combine these steps even. Listen to the music while you're visualizing your serene place, while you're taking the bath, while you're moving your body. Combine the steps as much as you can to achieve the greatest results. And finally, let's move on to tip number 10, and that is acquire a witness mindset. Oftentimes we get stuck in our own thought patterns, thinking that life is happening to us. We get overwhelmed by emotions, which disables us from seeing solutions, from seeing different perspectives. And so when you distance yourself and you view the situation from a witness mindset, 
you become more free, you become more calm and you start seeing different ways of solving the situation you are in. You don't take yourself so seriously and that calms you down, that calms down your nervous system. Because after all, even if you're going to the worst time of your life, you don't need to be in a fight or flight state all the time. Usually something bad happens in a short period of time, but if you think about what is happening right now in this moment, you will realize that you are safe. You will realize that you're feeling overwhelmed because you're overthinking either the past or the future. And so acquiring a witness mindset is so, so powerful. All right, let me know what your favorite tip was. Let me know which tips you are trying out right now, what you're trying out today to soothe yourself, to calm yourself down and have a better quality of your life. Like this video, share it with others and please subscribe if you have not already. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.